I don't usually respond to this business. Oh, shut up, Teddy. You stopped being polite to you years ago. Sit down. Listen, we haven't spent the best part of the evening admiring your decor, all right? Not because your grub got a mention in time out. You saw that? Good, wasn't it? Ever since the newspapers moved out here, yeah, we've been getting trendy. Only one problem. Yeah? Been from one of the tabloids. Gave us a paragraph. Now she wants free notch on demand. Listen, the lorries are open up under the flyover. They're not bringing in bacon from Denmark or flowers from France, right? Yeah, what? Oh, look at him. He thinks he's a French connection. Yugoslavian car parts. Imitation car parts. Oh, big stuff, eh? What's he got to do with me? This is the glorified transport gap where they do the deals. So we've heard. Yeah? Where are they all then, these hustlers? Where indeed. And we're going to get very upset if someone told them we were coming. Eric, you mean? Oh, he helps out. He keeps order for me. Banter? In a place like this? Yeah, we're soaking all night. Sometimes we get problems. <laughs> I know. Maybe he slung you out somewhere. Right, Nella, gents. First job of the day, mate. Be gentle with us. Where's Mr Cooper? Inside. Is there a problem? Well, not as far as I can see. But Mr Cooper's phoned the Nick and said you two will cause a disturbance. Well, why'd you do that? He's booked us to move his furniture. That's what we're doing. All right, I'll check him out. Best of luck, mate. <laughs> you took this bacon to swim. It's the best breakfast in London. Pity about the service. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be a social call, Mr. Cooper. But, uh, thank you. So you made a complaint about the noise then, Mr. Cooper? Ah. Yeah, well. That was a lie, really, just to get you round here. No, 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 it was a purpose. Oh, yeah, what's that? Well, it's, it's about those two out there. I mean, just looking at them, now, what is your opinion? Trustworthy or villainous? Well, how are we supposed to know? Only, well, we're very worried, see. I mean, there's a lot of valuable stuff here. Like what? Well, there's my stamp collection, for a start. What's the game? Game, boss. No game. They anchor their boats and row up the estuary. Reach places like Glasgow, Clyde Bank, Greenock. The hunters down. Take us back home across the seas. <laughs> Do you want breakfast? Sit down and shut up. You did take out insurance. I mean, for the move. Should I have done? It's always a good idea. I mean, it costs an extra few quid, but at the end of the day, it's peace of mind, isn't it? It's not too late, you know. There's some very good brokers down the high street. I'd go and see one of them. You mean you think that those two look uh, unreliable? No, Mr. Cooper. I mean, I think you look worried, and this will put your mind at rest. You couldn't run us around in the car, could you? No, Mr. Cooper, I couldn't. Look, they won't be open yet anyway. Where are you moving to? Grasmere. Very nice. <laughs> nice nose. Lovely if you like hot water, yes. Stick to that. Cheers! Cheers, Cheers. You're almost in the presence of royalty, you know. Oh. By rights, you should all be down on one knee. There's only one place my knee wants to go at the moment. It's not down on the carpet. Do you know what democracy is? Yeah, they do. It's a freedom not to have someone sit next to you unless you ask him. Freddy, a man here has just made a very hurtful remark. Hold on a sec, Sonny. Is this the excuse you've been looking for to take the place apart? Now, Philip, that's just his little joke. That's right. Now, why don't you go back and finish your breakfast? Take your hand off my shoulder. Why? You frightened some of it to rub off? <laughs> hey, you two don't belong to a minority group as well, do you? What? Lovers. This is my governor. You want to know what line of work we're in? Oi, don't do that!
Morning, sir. Yes, right. I think that one of your officers is making money on the side. Part-time insurance salesman. I'm sure you're mistaken, sir. It's against regulations. He was very insistent. Which officer was it? Number 351. 4513. Anyway, it adds up to nine. Oh, yes, and uh, he's black. Mustache. No, let me keep you. Oh, Bob. Lines, his missus was here asking for you. Muriel? Me? Why? My point exactly. I said to her, I'm younger, richer and better looking, but she wouldn't have it. What did she want? No idea. She's uh, up in the canteen. I've never I'm sorry, Bob. I asked for you because you're the only one I've met. I know you're busy. Oh, I've always got time for a cup of tea with you, love. It's more than my husband can manage. Can you find out where he is? I need to see him. Didn't he come home last night? I haven't seen him since yesterday breakfast. It's just that he said he'd get some housekeeping money and he didn't come home. I've got no food in the house. Well, I mean, you got a bank card or something? Can't use it. Over the limit. I even had to put stuff back on the supermarket shelves yesterday. I didn't have enough cash to pay for it. Well, you see, if Tosh is on the job, it's... Oh, I know, I know. I hate coming in like this. But I'm not sending my kids to school without a proper breakfast. No, um... Oh. Yeah, you take hold of that, and I'll see Tosh later, all right? Thanks, Bob. That's really good of you. Sarge, you want it in the yard immediately. All right, I'll be right with you. I've got to go now, love. I'll tell you something else and all. It was our rotten anniversary yesterday. Fifteen years. Are you going to tell me what I'm doing here? You and me are going to have words, pal. Yeah, all right, take them off, take the charge in. Come on, I need hands. All right, Sarge. You're pushing around. He's up, all right. Come on, come on. He's moved. Back in there, if I were you. One of that lot is the right honourable Philip Charlesworth. Reckons he's 57th in line to the throne. Hard to believe, isn't it? What, the throne of Albania? What have they been up to, then? They call themselves the Assassins. They take restaurants apart. Lovely stay, you've got! What, and Black Copper's eyes as well? <laughs> Never mind about his eye. What about my suit? What about him? He doesn't look like one of them. This is Eric. Eric's meant to be a bouncer. Eric laid there playing dead while Chief Kasala ran amok. I was unconscious. How many more times? Come on, Rambo. Bob. Oh. Yeah. Something iffy about that one. Trawl the book and see if we can find him in the minute. Oh, all right. We shall be moved! Not that, pal! <laughs> Just get them all sat down. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, come on. All we've done is have a fight and dirty a wall. You didn't do the tables and chairs much good, did you? We'll pay for any damage. Right here and now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't anybody going to pick it up? Put it somewhere safe. We don't think that's funny, little girl. You pick it up. If you insist. Mm -hmm. uh, Sergeant. You shut up. No, really, Sergeant, there's... I said shut up. You, in particular, you don't talk until you're spoken to. Have you ever heard of diplomatic immunity? I don't believe it. So whose son are you, if anyone's? The Matswan and cultural attaché. Perhaps you care to phone my father.
I know they've been a pain, but I don't want any casual bumps, eh? Me, Sarge? Yes, you. Oh, Tosh, talking of bumps, your Muriel was here earlier. She's going to have those little spaghetti. What have we done this time? It's your anniversary. Oh, no. Listen, if I was you, I'd play the eye for all it's worth. She didn't say how many years it was, did she? Yeah, 15. 15? Happy anniversary! Oh, cheers. Yes, right. I've come to show you my insurance policy. Because I still think they're dodgy, those two. Yeah. Just remind me what it's for again. I'm the one who's moving house. Right. Which one? Mr Cooper. Mr Cooper. And I don't like the look of the removers. And your officer thought that I should take out extra insurance for the sake of my peace of mind. Not that I can exactly feel peace of mind watching over me. Oh, yes. And it cost me 30 quid. You tell him that from me. Moment I see him. Why does my father have to come here? He confirmed who I am. The embassy is to take responsibility for you. Then fetch someone who knows how to treat me. They're all busy. Haynes. 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 What kind of a name is that for skin like yours? It's about as English as Freddy. You know what you are, Haynes. You're just an old fashioned slave. Head down, boy, grafting for Whitey. <laughs> now you listen here, you pompous. Everything all right? Fine, sir. Daddy's just phoned Freddy. He's on his way. But between you and me, he doesn't sound very pleased. Oh, dear. This pedigree, this family name, this impeccable character, besmirched by an elaborate fabrication. And furthermore, sir, my client, Viscount Strathvane, who I am personally proud to represent, is inclined to the persuasion that he has suffered at the hands of the police this morning by virtue of his birthright. Translation? They picked on him because he's upper class, sir. Really? Look, can't I go upstairs now? No. Excuse me. Look, stay there. Don't talk and don't move. Oh, you're so butch. Um, is it true what they say about police women? Well, is it? You do that once more. And you'll what? Do me or wrong. Oh, don't be so silly. What's the matter? Don't you like fighting? I love fighting. Oh! <gasps> What's the matter? Nothing. It's nothing! Pity. You have wrecked Mr. Balderstone's establishment. You've assaulted several police officers. There even now is Mr. Lyons with a black eye for his trouble. Punish me, boss. Punish me. May I really? How oh, kind. I think in this instance I cannot look away from a custodial sentence in the interest of the protection of the public. You will go to prison for 28 days. What? I request bail pending appeal. Bail refused. Pending appeal. No, you can't lock me up. Well, don't you know who I am? Here we are, sir. Good to see you, Father. What kept you? I gather your friend, Strathvane, accused these gentlemen of all sorts of things. Beatings, kickings. My son keeps very bad company, Mr. Cryer. Yes, I know. Can we talk later, Father? Not here in front of these gentlemen, as you call them. You're being kept here at my request, Freddy. Well, don't be ridiculous, Father. I'm being kept here because these people are slow and incompetent. I'm waiving your diplomatic immunity. I beg your pardon? You heard me. 
Can you do such a thing? Well, of course. Strathvane's got 28 days. I doubt if you'll get any less. But father, just because our country wants to see you do the right thing. Well, what about me? Not our country, my boy. Your mother. She wants a gentleman for a son, not an aristocratic. Yab. Father, please. Charge room. Excuse me, would you uh, take Mr. Bazaar to his Aye, aye. Thanks very much. Sure. On. And that was his old man, I suppose? Yeah, who seems to think his son needs to learn a lesson, so he's waived his diplomatic immunity. Huh? I like it. Thank you, officer. Goodbye, sir. Well, you never see the same face in here twice, do you? What can I do for you, sir? They haven't turned up at the other end. I'm sorry? They haven't turned up at the other end. What exactly are you talking about, sir? I need to talk to someone a lot older than you about this. It's only a smack on the nose, you know. Sounds familiar. We, we... Hello, Eric. How are you keeping? Tom. <laughs> Fine, thanks, mate. Uh, you galloping along? Oh, yeah, yeah, little by little. You're not transferring here, are you? Gotcha. Robbery squad. That's where I know you from. Thanks, Tom. What the hell were you doing in the filigree? What did it look like? You weren't undercover, were you? No, just picking up a few quid. Moonlighting, eh? Right. I want everything you've got on that place. Sarge, your friend's here again. I'm asking for you personally. Take these. Back so soon? Yes. I've done everything you lot have asked me to, and they've still disappeared. Who has? Removal firm, Hopkins. Who do you think I'm talking about? I'll give them a chance. Where is it you're moving to? Glassmere, and they should be there by now. Well, that must be 250 miles away. They only left this morning. 250 miles It's just round the corner. Glassmere? Yeah, Glassmere Road. I can't believe the treatment one can receive in this sky. You do know my father just wants you to do his dirty work for him. Bring me up in the ways of righteousness. A virtue he knows precious little about. You seem like a very sensible man to me. You're a slave at heart too, Sergeant. The big man says jump and you ask how high. I think it's time you started being civil to us. Spare me the advice, please. I've had... What's the matter? Lavatories, where are they? They're out of order. It's one of you! You fed me something! Oh, shut up. Better get him down uh, the corridor. Uh, oh, my pleasure, sir. Uh, All right, Craig will do it. Uh, right, uh, with you. Uh, what have you bunged him? Sarge, why pick on me? Now, come on, Ains. I know you can't stand the sight of him. You haven't put castor oil in his tea, have you? They're a bunch of upper-class yobs. They all right, are they? Why? Muriel, it's, it's me, love. Muriel. Muriel. Look, I, I've been injured, love. Yeah. Yes, I, I've been injured. Well, no, I won't say it's, it's, it's bad, but it's, well, it's not good. It's very painful. Look, I'll uh, meet you here in a half an hour for lunch, eh? Yeah? How's that? Oh, good, yeah. Right, OK, love it, yeah, yeah right. Okay, OK, bye. Bye. Great. Well, if you've done like we said, Mr. Cooper, and taking your valuables with you in the car. Ah, we haven't got a car, son. We walked round. It's uh, down here on the right, Grasmere Road. What number? 47. Do you think you'll catch them? It's hard to say, Mr. Cooper. No. In other words, don't hold my breath. You know what? I don't care about the furniture. They could have that as long as they leave my stamp collection. Where'd you pack it? In with the cornflakes. All this just to save 70 quid? That's what this is about. Will you keep your voice down? These removal kids. 
said they could do the job cheaper than a professional. Well, now we know why, you silly old fool. I don't really think it's his fault, Mrs Cooper. No, he's right. It's not my fault. Yes, it is. He'd have spent 70 quid on stamps quick enough. Oh, yes, but not on getting the home here safely. 351 from Sierra Oscar. Are you receiving? Over. 351 receiving. Go ahead. That removal van you just told us about. Yes? Ballstone, the uh, club owner, doses the punters he takes against. What? What, poisons them? Yeah, only a bit. It's in the red wine. What is? Well, it's a sort of dye they use to put in the plonk in Eastern Europe. Uh, Phenotalfin or something. Take enough and it tears your guts out. There you go. That's them. That's what I call bad luck, mate. Problems, have we? Nice. Oh, Locked jet in the carburetor. <laughs> and the exhaust manifold looks dodgy and all. <laughs> Everything all right in the back then, is it? Yeah, fine. We'll have a look then, won't we? You don't need to do that. The back's okay. It's the engine we've got problems with. I mean, I know we're not overloaded. <laughs> oh, I see. That type of removal, is it? Closed. No. That was cool. A beak after my own art, that one. That lady reporter been back. Yeah, she's doing an article on the punch out. Yeah? Well, if you don't like what she writes, you can always give her a drop of red wine. I thought I heard the screams as you tortured the truth out of poor old Eric. So. Do I get my knuckles wrapped or what? Depends. What's for dinner?